Hi! On the woodpecker today, René and I spent six days at the cottage. And we're going to show you what we do when we come up here during the winter. First of all, it's impossible to get to the cottage in the winter time by pickup. So I park 20 kilometers away and get the snowmobile out of the box. Since we will be there for several days, we have two bins filled with food and stuff to do. After tying them to the sled and making sure everything is solidly attached, we're ready to go. One thing I'm glad about is that René only has a small sample <laughs> because yeah. it would have been very hard to carry a real dog like that on my back. Once we're there, we have a lot to do, like bringing the bins inside and taking care of the wood stove. But today uh, it's not too bad. It's only minus 6 Celsius outside. After 45 minutes of eating the stove, we're just below the freezing point inside. Uh, but this is not warm enough for René. So she stays outside and shovels the boardwalk that goes from the cottage to the hot house. Okay, after a while, I feel bad about letting her shovel all this by herself. I install the camera on the tripod and help her a bit. Uh, yes, just a bit, because she asked me to check if it was possible to go to the dock. There's a bit too much snow to walk over there, so I put my big snowshoes on and compact the snow down to the dock. Nope, it's not very fast. Some places have less snow than others. And all this for this view. Okay, call me crazy, but I never get tired of this view, whatever the season. In fact, this is my little corner of paradise on Earth. I also compact the snow beside the snowmobile path we made, just to make this a little bit wider. Even with my big snowshoes, I sink about a foot into the snow. <laughs> Lucky for me, I don't have miles to go like that. The heat uh, doesn't come up very fast with the wood stove, so I use my auxiliary heater. I'm telling you, this eats up a small space in no time. After less than three hours, the temperature is quite acceptable inside the cottage. This is how we do on our first day. On the next day, we have a pile of dishes to do. Generally, when I come for only one night, I bring some snow inside, put it in a big pot, and eat it until I have hot water. But for six days, uh, it's a bit too much. So I go to the watershed. Uh, when I'm there, I realize this needs to be removed. So René shovels it all out of the way. Uh, she was already out with the shovel in her hand. 
because she had decided to clear all the snow from our boardwalk. While she does that, I pump some water Bring it inside and fill our small barrel. And like an imbecile, I overfill the barrel. Bravo, Anne. Bravo. We empty it a bit. Now I'm able to screw the hose to the valve system I made under the sink. When we'll power up the pump, water will come out of the faucet. It works fine for the cold water, <laughs> but the hot water hoses are frozen. So I use my heater again to thaw them. I'm telling you, with this heater, it doesn't take long and everything is back to its liquid form. Uh, but not for the section, which is under the last drawer. Uh, I don't remember what I did last fall, but I had water inside my water heater <laughs> and it's busted. I need to replace it with the one we use for the shower. After switching all the adapters from one heater to the other, I can put it back in place. Finally, we have hot water. Now it's time to spend quality time together and wash the dishes. Uh, we don't even have a little elm from this useless rat. But even if it's mid-March, we had some pretty cold nights. So we go out and bring in some firewood. While René picks up some wood from under the cottage, I split the biggest logs. But our stay wasn't only work. We also took long walks on the trails. Yes, all of us. This is how we can have nice surprises. We also took walks on the lake. On the lake, uh, it's a bit misleading because the water level is lowered by about uh, 18 feet each winter. They do this after a nice thickness of ice has frozen on its surface. For example, this rock has at least six feet of water over it in summer. We only see the tip of this one sticking out of the water. Now it sits on this small hill. Being able to walk over there allows us to take nice pictures. I also made a couple of outings on my sled. This gave me the opportunity to see things that I can't see in the summer when I take walks. Staying at the cottage without touching wood would be disappointing. So I brought some pieces of basswood. René and I spent several hours sculpting. I managed to finish my bear, but not René. On another day, I made this owl. 
part again, René was unable to finish her bear. But unfortunately, everything has an end, and we must come home. Yes, leaving this nice view behind is hard. I bring the snowmobile closer and hook up the tow bar. Oh, by the way, this medieval looking tow bar will be the subject of my next episode. To make sure I won't have any surprises in May, I blow compressed air into the water heater and empty the rest of the water. We put the bins in the sled and we're ready to go back to the pickup. This was our small vacation at the cottage two weeks ago. I hope I didn't bore you too much and see you soon for the video about how I made my new tow bar on the woodpecker. Mm -hmm.